Hello, welcome to a new podcast from Royal Central. I'm Lydia Starbuck. I'm the Associate Editor at Royal Central. Today we're talking about how the Royal Family use their experiences to help others. In particular, we're talking about the poignant and eloquent essay written by the Duchess of Sussex in the New York Times, in which she describes losing her second baby to miscarriage in July of 2020. The essay was published on November the 25th, 2020 and in it Megan describes the moment she realised that her pregnancy was in difficulty. She talks about experiencing pain as she looked after her first child Archie and she goes on to share some insights as she lay in a hospital bed after the miscarriage had happened and as she and Prince Harry came to terms with the loss of their baby. Her article has been praised by many organisations who support parents through miscarriage and child loss. People have talked about how much Megan's experiences are helping them. Some have highlighted the fact that for many people who go through miscarriage, there is a paucity of easily available information. Yes, there are some brilliant organisations out there offering support to parents who lose babies, but often miscarriage happens in the very, very early stages of pregnancy. And some people feel that they shouldn't access that information, that they can't access that information. All child loss is devastating for the parents involved. And plenty of people have, in the few hours since the essay has been published, praised the Duchess of Sussex for providing a platform for people to understand their own emotions. That was part of the reason Megan wrote this essay. She wanted to tell people it was okay to grieve, it was okay to ask for support, and we should all reach out to one another and ask other people if they are okay, because sometimes that can be the difference between someone coping or feeling totally alone. Megan's shared her experiences in a personal essay. Just a few years ago, her cousin by marriage, Zara Tyndall, shared her experiences of miscarriage. Zara and her husband, Mike, lost two babies to miscarriage as they were trying to grow their family. And Zara also spoke about the pain that she went through. Just a few years ago, the Countess of Wessex broke down in tears when she visited the hospital where her daughter, Lady Louise, was delivered in November of 2007. Lady Louise, of course, was born by emergency caesarean section after her mother became extremely unwell during the later stages of her pregnancy. Both mother and child needed expert medical care to be saved. Louise's arrival came just a few years after Sophie lost a baby to ectopic pregnancy. And the Countess has spoken about both those experiences. Her words and her tears, again, are a reflection of how many, many people across the world feel. Sadly, miscarriage and the loss of babies before full term, the death of a baby during pregnancy, is more common than any of us would really like to think. As Megan writes in her essay, for every 100 women between 10 and 20 will have experienced miscarriage at some point during a pregnancy. She writes eloquently of how it affected her husband as well, talking about watching Prince Harry's heart break as he tried to hold the shattered pieces of her own heart as they lay in hospital, coming to terms with the loss of their child. There's no doubt that Meghan's words have helped many people already in the few hours since they've been published. That's why she wrote the essay. She wants us all to try and reach out, to try and help other people and to give voice to the feelings that many experience during miscarriage and feel they can't say out loud for themselves because it is a truly sad experience that affects people in different ways. Many feel they can never speak of it, that they have to just hold it in their hearts, keep it safe there. But Megan is expressing that she hopes her words, even if they are just read silently, Even if the person reading them can never even say them out loud themselves, she is hoping that just seeing them, knowing that someone else has gone through a similar experience, will help somebody else along the way. 
There's lots more discussion over on rawcentral.co.uk and it will all be constructive discussion. Sadly, in the few hours since this essay was shared, some people who don't like the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have used it as an opportunity to attack them again. Well, they won't be doing it on Royal Central. We'll be monitoring all comments very closely. Of course, we always welcome healthy debate on the site, but we won't put up with trolling, especially under these circumstances. We hope you'll join us on Royal Central to discuss this and we'll also add some links to our coverage of this news. Links to organisations that support people going through miscarriage or pregnancy loss in the hope that they will be able to offer some support if anyone feels that they need it. Thank you for listening to our podcast. We'll have another one for you very soon. From Royal Central, goodbye.